Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Carol, where's Carol? 1970. At Carol, 1970. She's not here. He's not there. Oh, you're there. <laughs> Hiya, Tom. We've just booked to see Depeche Mode next year and have a square <laughs> ticket. Would you like to join us? <laughs> Sure <laughs> FOC for you, oh, free of charge. Wow, this gets better and better. Thank you. Uh, choice of three. London Belgium. So you bought three extra tickets. You bought extra tickets for each one. <laughs> now I really feel under pressure. All right. Um, um, I can have them all. No, no, you go. You, you go and enjoy yourself. Depeche Mode will be good. Right, look, come on, get on with the, the next question. But Joanne Lee, Joanne Lee, where are you? These are all down the front row, aren't they? Uh, do you get to sleep okay after a gig? If so, tips, please. <laughs> you can come and give me a cuddle. No, that's what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> Um, I don't know. Well, I always take the hours to get to sleep after a gig, um, but it's kind of like it's it's one of the best times about being out on the road. I think it's when you finish a show. If it's gone well, uh, then then you kind of get this two or three hours afterwards where you just feel beautifully mellow and happy. Um, and it's a bit like being on drugs. Uh, which is <laughs> nice to be reminded of. Okay. Uh, do stuff. Go places. Best dad joke you remember hearing. Oh my god. <laughs> I did make, I, I went through a phase of making up jokes and putting them online. And one, one was very inappropriate, so I'm not going to say that. Well, there's a good one, Doctor, Doctor, uh, I, I'm, I've got a, a, a lettuce sticking out of my ass. Uh, I'm sorry to tell you, sir, but that is just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> yeah, you like that? Stick to the day job. Stick to the day job. <laughs> Um, Marmite or peanut butter, says Sarah Hay. Um, yeah? Marmite. So let's ask you lot. Marmite? Yes. Or peanut butter? Yes. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> um, if you could only say one song from your solo albums, which would it be? Um, probably the last one that we just played. I think that's, that's not a bad song. Um, all right, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rush through these because this could get um, painful. Um, how do you remember K uh, MJ Cookie or Cutie Pie? You seem to have two Twitter handles. H Hi, how do you remember all the lyrics to your songs? I struggled to remember one song, let alone 14. Well, it is my job. <laughs> so, and I think what happens is that you, it's a bit like the cabbies in London, you know, get the knowledge. It's sort of a part of your brain that sort of seems to remember these things. Um, I can't remember anything else. So uh, it's just song lyrics that are rattling around in my, in my head. Um, and also, if I, I think some of the front row seem to have uh, got that same skill over the years. And sometimes I look to them. Uh, right. Uh, do you ever find yourself, Jenna says, do you ever find yourself humming your own songs? Um, <laughs> well, I, I, um, any keen or the wave songs that particularly get stuck in your head? Okay, well I remember once. This is not nothing to do with that, but I do remember once I was I went I was playing golf somewhere. Is it? I, I must go back there and see if it still happens because I opened this door and literally the door had a squeak on it and it went as you shut. Literally said the somewhere in Reno. <laughs> I thought, that's amazing. <laughs> and the door, and it did, and it squeaks in the tune of some only arena. And then I noticed, are there any ornithologists? Out, you know, bird watchers. Yeah. <laughs> Twitchers, no, birders. Is that what they're called? There was, there's a bird that taunted me throughout the pandemic. That it's got this, it's, this tune goes. <laughs> a simple thing, I kept it in the garden, constantly on repeat. Um, right, that's it. I'm going to sing a song now. Uh,